You are watching D5. Hello you guys, welcome back to D5. This session we are going to be playing a game I was never any good at. Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes uh, for the GameCube. So, we're going to go ahead and <laughs> jump right in and see how well this goes. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They are demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. They say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You will have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound, your former unit, and one that I was the commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one-man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSB. Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Okay. So... It didn't crash. We made it through the intro, so... Let's see if we can make it into the game.
stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, Press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Pretty sure that was exactly the pitch I heard about on uh, Shark Tank. Putting a little device that stimulates the bones of your ear. Good start. Especially if he keeps running like this. Get up. No, get up. Get up. sure there's some guy we literally saw run into this corner but I'm sh guess he's gone now must have been swallowed whole by that forklift
Seems familiar. Any minute an alien will show up. front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hind D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Liquid! Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. But didn't, but in the whole opening scene that they seem to have noticed each other? There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry, I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. 
I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here. And then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Mm, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the okay. fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Oh. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with 556ers and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let Even you decide the best right COA. It. I'm counting on you, Snake. I don't like pineapples. They're great in pina coladas, though. There's an awful lot of blood everywhere. Oh, that's right. Somehow. Completely unseen, they saw nothing. Um.
He's gone. Let's just go back to a regular patrol. Nothing special. Stop hitting whatever that trigger is. Well, that's crouching. That's not helping. Somebody there? That shouldn't be. Oh, oh. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. good at this. Ah, it's going to be a breeze. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. 
I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, <laughs> I know lots about foxhole. survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Hope they don't expect me to remember these, because I don't remember what the save frequency was. DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? Oh, they just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. <clears throat> <sighs> really? He's already done three people. <laughs> He's killed three people? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm mature, I promise. <laughs> Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security. Oh, I guess I didn't kill anyone, did I? Stop hitting the triggers. Security camera. I was wondering what that sound was. Press the action button to drop down. Yeah, the, the, was, is that a necessary call? Did you need to say that? What now? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. this. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. Ah, oh, for 
my tits. You can't see me. You can't see me. Eh. Oh, I forgot. You're not supposed to roll on stairs. They know how inconvenient it is to actually cover their grates. These vents should always be open. Oh, you can see me? You, you can see me? <laughs> I guess you might be able to, huh? <laughs> okay, smart asses. So. Um, apparently they can see through things, and they can hear through things, so I need to stop playing this game as if it's a, uh, the original. literally just saw him go into this tank, but he's got to be gone by now. First, hold down the weapon menu button to open the weapon window. Then, select the weapon you want to equip from the weapon icons. After you've selected the weapon, release the weapon menu button. The weapon you selected should appear in your hand. Refer to the explanations displayed in the window for instructions on the use of each weapon. Don't fire your gun needlessly or you might be discovered. If you had a gun with a suppressor, it would be a different story. If you have any questions about weapons or equipment, you should ask our military analyst, Nastasha. Her frequency is 141.52. Okay. 
snake. First, you've got to find the DARPA chief. Ah, you stupid camera. Ah, who are you? about as well as I thought it would be. Use the elevator to change floors. Uh -huh. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Right. Try to find it. But it was locked. Or at least that's usually what red lines mean. Was there a noise just now? But I was in cover. So where did you guys come from?
Snake, use the elevator to move from floor to floor. Uh -huh. To call the elevator, press the button on the nearby control panel by pressing the action button. Naturally. The elevator should show up in no time. But nothing's happening. Oh, really? I was too far away the first time I was hitting that? It's not going. There? What's that? Damn it. It's the end. It's fine. He's just sleeping. Permanently. What? I'm bleeding here. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Wait, Hurry didn't you say it was the blue dot? Him. You want to go up or down a ladder? Press the just action press button. The yes, action yes, yes, yes. I get it. By the ladder. Approach the ladder and press the action button to climb it. First, who doesn't want to go inside a hole? See, look at that cheesecake. I would have missed a cheesecake if I'd listened to you. Damn it! Action, action, action button all the day. There we go. Wait, what? Is that money? Wait, what? Dead ass. Kind of damn cold. I hate Alaska. Seems inappropriate, Snake. Why are you staring? Boy, oh boy. That woman is built all right. He didn't wash his hands, that sick bastard. He has a cold, he didn't wash his hands, he played with his willy. Was that scene necessary? Get it? Oh, you don't have an M9, that's right. M9 Shyamalan.
Another? Someone else pissing? Oh. Merle. A woman. <laughs> Good observation. Chief Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. American Eagle, Buckle. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, that's racist. Hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. <sighs> Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Dramatic blur effect. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for the keeping of dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. Why are you so loud, Snake? That's the official story. Got it. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. What? A laser! A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know <laughs> black? That? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? Vacation? I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms taking ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Did you need to whisper that? <laughs> Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex, the code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? But 
I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course. There is a PAL. I'm not your PAL it's set guy. Up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker one for the club one. and one for the hose. And I know one. Baker, oh, or that. the president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But. But. They found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they, they find out Baker's physics? password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Arms Tech, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that... Yes, you can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. Three? There are three different slots to put them in. There's only two passwords. Insert a card into each one of them. Obviously. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my Why? ID card. Why would they have left this with any you? Why didn't they take this? Door. Especially if it was a security key, it's why didn't they take it? Pan card. Pan's it labyrinth. Together with your body's own electrical field. What? Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as a transmission medium. I if think you that's how to science security works. Devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay. Why was I'm my ribbon up in minute. the air? What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. no. Why? Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. Don't so, question me. Does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? <laughs> Well, at least you gave me all that necessary information before you died. What's that? Hey, what happened? Maybe it's a Plagus. Maybe they had a Plagus in his throat. Wait, throat? Maybe I'm thinking of Helix. Where are the Plagus? Oh, base of the neck. Huh. Dead. You, you had to check his pulse to find that out? You didn't just watch this whole seizure?
Why is the guard outside just not caring? Wasn't he just running this direction? Naomi, the chief, what happened? I... I, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No! Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and that was find a debate? President Baker. Pretty sure I just stared at you silently. That's not quite debating. Loot the body. Ah! Chief, you bastard! Oh my god, they killed DARPA, Chief! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <gasps> Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Like be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Ah! Why isn't she shooting? Pistol do any damage? No, no, I guess it does not. What? I'm a little busy. Snake, what are you doing? Take... Shut up. You want to come here and do this? Well, she wasn't helping anyway. Uh, one, two... What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! Why is her gun so much better?
Go away. I just want to leave. Bitch. <laughs> there we go. I'll let her deal with it. Hello? Ah, now's not the time to reload, Snake. Are we done now? Can we go? Jesus. Thanks for the help. Wait! Dead ass. Who are you? Get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Hmm. Couldn't shoot all those people, but you can shoot at me for one. some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So, that was Mantis. Okay. So somehow we're still alive. It's good. That's good. Uh, all these bodies clean themselves up. That's nice. Oh. What, what the hell? What am I going to do with this? Oh. I remember what you do with those. Psychomantis has the power to read people's minds. I, did, I don't care. I'm not here for you. Go away. Um. What can I do for you, Snake? Okay. 
But I think that's a good example of what you can expect from how terrible this is going to go for me. So we'll save that. All right. Yay! That's technically the furthest I've ever made it. So... <laughs> um, of course, hopefully I can do better now that I'm a little more familiar with it. Probably not. But it's nice to be optimistic. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.